so we finally got the car tinted it's been two days that i've owned it and instantly we got it tinted um i love this thing this thing is awesome it checks off all the boxes that i want in a car alpha auto really killed it with the tint like it's perfect um my daughter hates fishbowl every time the sun's out she screams that she wants a, a darker so we finally got some tint on it um i believe this is 15 percent all around just looks sick but yeah i'm super happy with how it came out uh the tint is perfect alpha auto always kills it they tinted my yellow e e46 they tinted the e36 they tinted my f30 they tinted my x5 we haven't tinted that yet because it actually has a little bit of tint on it but we have to remove it and that's about an hour to two hours of work because that's caked on on there so when i'm gonna drop off that car when it's done we're gonna do a 15 percent also but dang just look at this thing it looks so good super happy with the tints and inside it doesn't even look dark so this is inside like it's not even that dark it's dark on the outside but perfect on the inside so super stoked um in the next video we're gonna be doing a full walk around the car talking about it more but yeah huge shout out to alpha auto for hooking me up with the tints it came out really nice super happy with it here we finally have our first mod for the wagon and it is the diffuser as you can see this one is gray kind of looks like it's painted to the body color but it's actually not uh, they come gray my f30 had it we're gonna upgrade to this m sport uh, matte black style which i think is gonna look so much better with uh just a little bit more edge to it so to take this off there's just a couple of screws underneath as you can see right there you do that and it should just pop off uh, this comes with uh, clips as well so this should be pretty easy to do and there you have it that's on it looks so much better I'm definitely happy with that um, this was like 70 bucks if not less so I just thought you know what since we're gonna drive around like this for a bit without the f81 body might as well make it look nice because once we do the f81 rear uh, we're gonna have to redo the whole exhaust anyways so what's good is there's nothing in the middle so it's gonna be nice and straight for us to do the f81 exhaust but that looks really good yep that looks perfect we also have a front lip for the car so we're gonna install it today as well um, yesterday we installed the diffuser this came in finally uh, today so we're gonna put it in um, it looked like it was a one piece because they sell like two piece ones that split in the middle I didn't want that it just looks bad thankfully this looks like it could be a three piece so side pieces are separate and the bottom piece is separate as well which is good because I kind of want it to be separate I don't want it to be split in the half in the middle so let's clean this front bumper up take that out let's see what we have to do and install it so let's see Here's one side. Yep, that's actually really cool because it is separate, so that's good. Let's see. Perfect, the fitment looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Already looking better just with those pieces. So it doesn't fall. Let's see what else is in the box. So we have the sides. Here's the other side. And we have some 3M tape. We have some hardware. Perfect. I didn't think it was going to come with it, but that's good. Um, and now the centerpiece. It's going to be kind of hard to get it off with one hand, but let's try okay. let's see perfect that looks awesome Yup, it's one solid piece on, wow, it is thick. 
So the original one, I'll go anywhere. Um, the original one is definitely more flimsier. I've had it on the other F30, and this one's definitely stronger. Nice, can't wait to install this thing right now. Definitely looks cool. So here it is, these are all the pieces. Um, I will say one thing, um, not sure how the fitment is on the actual splitter, but these on the old one kind of like clipped in and the screws went through them. So we're going to try to do the same, have the screws go completely through it so it's uh, connected as one single piece. But uh, let's get a drill and get this thing in. So before we do anything, we want to clean it up. I have some chemical guys all purpose cleaner. So all the hardware, which I think I might need more screws. There's only a few. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use 3M tape, maybe up top. Yeah, I'll probably use it right here. Um, but let's clean this up, get it all prepped so we can install this bad boy. Nice. Now that it's clean, let's let it dry and let's install the bumper, uh, the lip. So the first thing we're actually going to do is install these and then do that last. And the front lip is on, just changes the complete look of the car. I love it. For a hundred bucks, a replica front lip, definitely not bad for a hundred bucks. Oof. That looks so good. I'm definitely happy with that. Well, that will do it for this video. That will do it for the whole modifications of the car as is for now. Uh, because we're going to be ordering all the F80 stuff now. So, fenders, hood, bumper, um, side skirts, rear bumper, and slowly piecing it together. Um, it's probably going to take a few months because our main priority is this car right now. So. It's getting warmer finally, as soon as spring hits, we're finishing this body, stripping all this paint off, getting it properly painted, and then we're going to work on this. So it's going to take a few months, so I did the lip and the rear diffuser just for now, uh, so it doesn't look naked. Definitely happy with it, but stay tuned, we're going to be working on this car very, very soon.